Hello everyone. Welcome to Mathematics, Physics, Mathematical Physics channel. Today, we present another episode from the Physics Puzzle series. This is Physics Puzzle number 6, and we're going to talk about an interesting electrical circuit problem. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you won't miss future episodes. Keep in mind that the aim of this channel is to represent the beauty of mathematics and physics, and the pure connection between them. So, watch other videos on our channel, and support us with your comments and suggestions. Now, let's begin delving into the puzzle. Today's puzzle is an electrical circuit problem that you may see a similar one on physics olympiads or university entrance exams. In the given circuit, we shall find the current I shown by the red color. This problem is not necessarily too hard. But, under the limited time circumstances, it might be tricky. Please give yourself a few minutes to solve this problem. After a short pause, we're going to solve it together. At the first glance, this problem may seem too hard. But, We'll see that by using the method that we've learned in physics puzzle number 3, we can easily solve this puzzle in just a few seconds. So, please find the link in the description below, and watch the physics puzzle series, specifically, physics puzzle number 3 and number 4. In those episodes, I introduced two efficient methods based on KCL and KVL. They were, keep doing KCL until you find a nice KVL, and, keep doing KVL until you find a nice KCL. Also, if you remember, at the end of physics puzzle number 4, I compared these two methods and gave a rule of thumb that you can understand which method is best for a given circuit. Based on the electric circuit given here, we see that we have a good number of current sources. So, we already know the currents of many branches. That's a hint that we better use the first method which is, keep doing KCL until you find a nice KVL. What we're going to do is, basically, we walk through the different branches of the circuit and determine the current of each branch by playing with KCL. Keep in mind that, we never use the conventional nodal and mesh analysis methods for these kinds of problems since the full analysis of the circuit is not required. You're ready? Let's do this. We start from the unknown current and walk through the circuit. We know that this branch has the running current of I. Then, by KCL on the node next to it, we see that the current I is incoming toward the node, and, 6 Ampere is leaving the node by the current source. So, I minus 6, is running through this branch containing the 5 ohm resistor. Note that since the 6 Ampere current source and the 2 ohm resistor are series connected, their current is the same and is determined by the current source. We, now, move to the next node. I minus 6 Ampere is pumping the node from the bottom branch, and 4 Ampere is pumping the node from the upper branch by the current source. So, I minus 6, plus 4, should be leaving the node due to KCL. So, the current of this branch passing through the 4 ohm resistor is, I minus 2. We keep walking on the circuit and try to determine the current of some branches only in terms of the unknown current, I. The next node that we can easily write KCL in terms of I, is this node. 1 Ampere is incoming toward the node by the current source, and the current I, is leaving the node. So, 1 minus I, is passing through the 3 ohm resistor. Very good. Now, the question is, do we need to determine more currents? And, the answer is no. Why? Because we can easily spot a nice loop that all the currents in the loop depend only on the unknown variable, I. So, let's write KVL for the nice loop, and identify an equation for the current I. As always, in order to write KVL, we have to set a sign convention. In the previous physics puzzles, I emphasize that this sign convention is arbitrary. But, once we set a sign convention, we should stick to it. We can use this sign convention, that is, when we pass through a voltage source from its positive head, and when we pass a resistor in the direction of the current, we get a plus sign. Or, the other sign convention, that is, when we pass through a voltage source from its negative head, and when we pass a resistor in the opposite direction of the current, we get a plus sign. I choose the first sign convention here, and move around the loop counterclockwise to write the KVL. Starting from the 1 ohm resistor, we get, I, multiplied by 1, plus, I minus 6, multiplied by 5, plus, I minus 2, multiplied by 4, minus, 1 minus I, 
multiplied by 3, equal to 0. Note that for the 3 ohm resistor, we applied a minus sign since we are moving opposite to the current direction. And, for the other resistors, we applied plus signs since we move in the current directions. Great. Now, we collect the unknown terms which contain I. In the first term we have 1I, in the second, 5I, and in the third, 4I, which add up to 10I. In the last term, we have, minus negative 3I, which gives plus 3I. So altogether, we get 13I. And, collecting the known terms, gives, minus 30, minus 8, minus 3. So, we get minus 41. Thus, the equation for I simplifies to, 13I minus 41 is equal to 0. Perfect. We add 41 to both sides of the equation to get, 13I is equal to 41. Finally, dividing both sides by 13, we end up with, I is equal to 41 over 13. That was quite an interesting and exciting puzzle to solve. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you won't miss future episodes. Keep in mind that the aim of this channel is to represent the beauty of mathematics and physics, and the pure connection between them. So, watch other videos on our channel, and support us with your comments and suggestions. See you next time.